Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy and sleep medicine at Children's Chess Clinic, New Delhi. In this video, we'll talk about flexible laryngoscopy in children. When is it required? How is it performed? Is it a safe investigation? Now, flexible laryngoscopy is an excellent method to look at the child airway in detail. It allows us a detailed evaluation of the child's nose, the nasal passages, the back of the nose, also known as the nasopharynx, the back of the throat, also known as the oropharynx, and the voice box of the child, known as the larynx. A flexible laryngoscope is a very thin instrument which is flexible and can, can move around and it allows us a very detailed examination of the child's airway. It provides us very high quality images and videos which can be recorded for reviewing purposes. Now, how do we perform a flexible laryngoscopy in children? Now, children who require flexible laryngoscopy are given very small amount of anesthesia in the nose. This can be in the form of drops or in the form of a nasal spray. In addition, some children also require a bit of sedation, which can be given, which helps the child to sleep and makes the procedure more comfortable for the child and for the person who is doing it. We gently advance the flexible laryngoscope through the nose, looking at the nose, the nasal turbinates, the opening of the sinuses. Now, once we reach the back of the nose, we try and evaluate the size of the adenoids. And as we gradually progress the laryngoscope through the back of the throat, we try and evaluate the size of the tonsils and presence of any cystic areas. The laryngoscope is then advanced further where we reach the voice box of the larynx and here we try and evaluate the voice box which includes the epiglottis, the other cartilages and we also look at the movement and the symmetry of the vocal cords. Now let's understand in what situations we require a flexible laryngoscopy to be done in children. So flexible laryngoscopy in children is required in many situations. The most common of them being the noisy breathing. Noisy breathing is a common problem in infants and it can present in many ways. It can present with noises such as snoring or stirred or something like this. Or it can present with a harsh sound like a strider, something like this. Or it can present with a musical or whistling sound, something like this. This is known as a wheeze. Now, flexible laryngoscope allows us to examine the child's airway and to understand what is the cause of this noisy breathing. The snore or the stutter is usually caused by enlarged turbinates, problem with the sinuses or sinusitis. It can also be because of enlarged adenoids in the child's airway. Strider is usually because of floppiness of the voice box, also known as laryngomalacia. It can be because of valicular cyst. It can also be because of problems with the vocal cords, known as vocal cord paralysis or it can be because of subglottic obstruction like subglottic hemangiomas or stenosis. Now wheezing is usually caused by the lower airways which can be problematic and they can be obstruction to the windpipe of the child. The other indications of doing a flexible laryngoscopy in children could be obstructive sleep apnea especially in children with complex disorders to understand what is the real site of obstruction which is leading to sleep apnea. A flexible laryngoscopy is also a very useful investigation in children who present with problems with swallowing, especially children who have uh, neuromuscle disorders or who have developmental delay. Now these groups of children do chronically aspirate leading to problems in the lungs. 
In this procedure, we put the small laryngoscope at the back of the throat and allows the, pa uh, the parent to feed the child with food which, which contains a dye. And in such situations, we can, we can look at aspiration in real time. Flexible laryngoscopy is also a very useful investigation in children who present with hoarseness of voice. It helps us to evaluate the laryngopharyngeal reflux or the vocal cord nodules, which are usually the cause. Flexible laryngoscopy is an extremely safe investigation and without any complications. So if your child is having any of these problems, which we have talked about, like noisy breathing, symptoms of chronic aspiration, hoarseness of voice, or having obstructive sleep apnea, do get in touch with a pediatric pulmonologist and get a flexible laryngoscopy to understand the real cause of the problem. Thank you.